All right, everybody, welcome back to some old GTA 5 expanded and enhanced on the PS5. Real quick, I do apologize for like the little mini wait on this. I just been busy, man. Work life, life work. You know how it is, man. I just been busy with a bunch of different stuff and really ain't had enough time to really record. Sit down and record, man, and just, you know what I'm saying? Keep these videos pumping for y'all, man. But I'm um, still getting these videos going out there, man. This is a game I'm definitely going to beat. Y'all still been showing mad love and support for this series, bro. So. Who am I to stop this from going for y'all, bro? Uh, it's crazy because a lot of y'all said y'all really ain't seen the story of GTA 5, which is, it baffles me. Where y'all been? Y'all been playing this game and ain't played the story? What the hell is wrong with y'all? <laughs> it's just crazy. I just, it's just, that's just crazy to me, man. But we're going to go ahead and keep this going, man. And without further ado, enough of me talking. Let's get into this damn video. All right, guys, we starting this off as Trevor, bro. We finna go ahead and crank up this damn Meriwether Heist. I feel like it's been so long since I played this game, but it only been like a day or two. <laughs> it only been like a day or two, man. So let's go ahead and get right into this. We actually finna go ahead and actually do the entire heist, bro. So I'm actually excited. Wait, Floyd! Hey, you guys, I'm expecting company, all right? I want this place clean. Wade, you tidy. Floyd, massage. Uh, no, no, I really well, don't. Do you want me to get my dick out again? No, no, huh? no, no. Does anyone want that? No, no, you're right, you're right. You're right. Hey, bro, what's up? Oh, hey, bro, you're late. Nine years fucking late. You know, you're so late, in fact, that you have no right to call me, bro. Is that clear? Ah, uh, shut the fuck up. You're like a broken fucking record. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, you're like a shit. Exactly like a shit. Where's the assistant? On his way. Uh, kid idolized this. He gives me the creeps. Yo! Yo, Frankie, we were just talking about you. Ah, oh, nattering. You know how it is. Yeah, whatever, man. So what we doing here? We're working, amigo. Taking a score. Yeah, done most of the planning, and uh, I think we're gonna literally make out like bandits on this. Did you talk to Lester? Yeah, yeah, I called him. It's, apparently he's in the hospital having his vagina cleaned or some shit. He's got a wasting disease. 20% saved. No, that's not how we work. Well, you'll forgive me, but that's how we're gonna work this time, all right? We're doing it my way, because as I recall the last time when we did it your way, we all got shot at, you got buried, resurrected, turned into a twat, and Brad ended up in a fucking prison! Yeah, and Lester told us not to do that job, but we did it anyway. And Lester seems pretty good, man. Would you shut the fuck up, all right? And you, Michael, owe me, all right? So this time, we do things my way. <laughs> yeah, and what about after this? After this, we think about things. So what's the plan? Easy. We are sinking a freighter into Los Santos Harbor. All right? Now, Daddy's little helper, you're going to be on the bridge. All right? You're the lookout. Now, you, you're boarding the freighter and planting charges. Me, I'm running the deep water salvage operation with a little help from my friends. You, fat man, of course, well, you're not one of those friends. Which part is easy, though? Oh, for fuck, where'd you get the pussy, Mikey? Man, fuck you. Ah, better. I like that. Fuck you. Good. Good. All right. Now let's go make some money, ladies, huh? Brilliant. Don't be a dick. Oh, your wish is my commando, master. Let's go, Junior. Hey, Wade, get Michael a wetsuit, all right? Take him to the boat. Oh. Hurry it up. We need some transport, don't we? Yeah, what's going Hold on. All right, bro. Here we go, bro. We finna go ahead and do this damn thing. Um, If, if y'all haven't noticed, bro, that's what, um... Y'all know Trevor think that Brad in jail and Michael got killed and turned into a twat. <laughs> but yeah, but we finna do this, bro. We finna have um, Franklin as sniper. Michael finna go in and actually go on the boat. And we finna do this. Like, I actually do like this little heist for real, for real. But y'all gonna see, bro. Like, this heist gonna end insane if y'all don't know. Almost forgot. I was kind of sold on, like, a well-organized job planned out with Lester's weird eye for detail. I got an eye for details, kid. Little details like your brick of blow being drywall. Uh, okay, man. I'm grateful for that, dog. But, but buying cocaine is a whole different thing from sinking a container ship into a harbor. And I really, kid. It's all about what's inside. Yeah, that's true, though. What's like, if it went for Trevor, they would have definitely walked walked away from that Grove Street with a brick of drywall. They probably would have got killed though, cause of stretch. Weather Security Consulting, the company our government uses to fight its wars and protect its shady interests all over the planet. They're the army? They're like the army, only they're private, so they cost more. 
Anyway, they've just been cleared to take government contracts on U.S. soil. And what's one of the first on the list? This container at the port? Exactamundo! So it's gotta be valuable, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter, because your job is not to understand. It's to shoot at people who try to stop us. Yeah, bro. He probably gonna say something about me not, um... Not taking them shooting classes, neither. I don't know if he is gonna say anything about it, but he might say something. Cause I haven't been to the shooting range with Franklin, which is crazy. Because around about this time, like during my own my other playthroughs, around about this time I would already been to the shooting range and had um Franklin um shooting skill like already maxed out to level 100. Already maxed out to level 100, bro. But I think that's if all the dialogue. So let's go ahead and get on up here. I don't know what it is about Trevor Truck. I just feel like this truck is just made to crash into stuff. Like, even when I'm not trying to crash into people, it just, like, automatically crash into people. It's just something about it. It just seemed like, it, it like yeah. chaos or something. Yeah, find your spot on the side of the bridge and call Michael. All right, man, whatever. All right, here we go. Go to the vantage point. I like how he just straight up left me right there. I mean, I know he don't want to just hang around because we finna get down with the nitty gritty, but still. Bro didn't even attempt to try to see me go get across the street safely. Shit. Hey, dog, I'm in position. Let me know when you are ready. All right, F, I'm in position. Damn, that's a long way up. So make sure I don't run into any trouble when I get there. Fucking Trevor. All right, I got you, homie. Hold on, there's a couple guards. All right, here we go, this bro. Shady, right? We could get now both of these at one time. Yeah, they're a nasty bunch. It's clear, man. Climb aboard. Things I do for old friends. I got four bombs to plant, kid. Look out for me while I do it. They call this ship in numbers, man. All right, here we go. So we can actually like just um trade back and forth between Michael and um and Frank, which is you know that's smooth move. I actually enjoy that. Uh, let's see. We got a guy right here. Let's see. Can I like actually get this dude? I can do it. There we go. Quick, or I can do it right, okay? So I got that dude. Let's go ahead and snipe that dude real quick. Take him out. There we go. I'm gonna try my best to like just swap, you know, switch, you know, swap over as much as I can. I ain't gonna try to overdo it, but I'm gonna try to do it enough. You know what I mean? Try to do it enough. Let's see what this guy coming out at. Oh, 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 oh. oh, look at that shot! That was a shot, like a real shot, like I body cuz. Second charge set. Two to go. There we go. So. There we go. I actually thought I missed him. Hey, let's let's switch over to Michael real quick and uh, try to do this. We we'll maybe use his special ability a little bit. Max Payne. Yes, sir. Ski. Let's switch back over. I'm going. Let's see. Where is Mike? Where is the Michael? Ah, right, here we go. So we got a dude right there. Got him. Got him. Let's see. So, yeah, we should be good. Yeah. I got both of them dudes up out of there. So, now we should be able to put this bomb right here. Then it's going to be another bomb we're going to put. It's going to be another bomb we're going to have to put. I think it's up. Bombs in place. That's what needs to go inside the ship. Come to the south side. I'll clear the entrance for you. Take him out. I'm taking him. Take him out. Way ends up these stairs here. Where is Mike? Okay, there go Mike right there. So there go Michael right there. It's a dude coming this way. Shoot him in his shit. Yes, sir. Ski. We should be good. I don't know. Oh yeah, we good. Get back to where I can see you as soon as you can. I'm not gonna screw around in here, all right? Just tell me when you planted it. Oh shit. Nah, this part finna get insane. I'm finna have to shoot all type of people now, bro. You okay? No cap. You okay, man? You gotta go. Oh, look at that shot. <laughs> That was a shot. Holy crap. Here we go, though. This is where the damn mission get insane. Take him out. Take him out. 
Take him out. Ooh, I thought I had him. I thought I had him. Come on, come on, come on. I really wish I would have got those um those shooting those shooting um lessons though. Because the reticle wouldn't be as wavy, as wiggly as it is right now. There we go. Take him down. Come on, boy. Get your ass shot in your shit, you bum. Get shot in your shit, bitch. Come on, reload. Alright, there we go. Come on now. You wanna take all day. There we go. Is it a, is somebody else alive? I still see a dot down there, but we also got this damn Oh here you go right here. Take him out. Holy crap. Come on. There we go, got him. Oh, what? There it is. Now I got him. It's to be two shots to take him down. That's crazy. All right, there we go. That go Mike right there. And I'm trying to make sure there ain't no, no, what's the name? God came out the cabin. Holy crap. Holy crap. Let's actually take this dude down first. There we go. And we got to make sure we get the dude behind Michael. We don't want Mike to die. Come on. There we go. Got him. Got him. And there's some more dudes down this way. Take him down. Take him down. Where we at? Where they at? There they is. Take him down. They not worried about the dude that's sniping? All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and detonate these charges. Bro, so here we go. So now, after we didn't blew up the ship and all this type of stuff, now we actually gotta find the um the thing. Yeah, bro. So with this signal, man, it's pretty much easy. It's just like a little circle. Like think of it like a battle royale type of thing. Here it is, right though. And there we go. All right, so now we got to pick this up. So as y'all can tell, we finna get ready to pick this up with um the damn submarine. This whole heist is like really like crazy because. If we knew what it was, it wouldn't be top secret or very valuable, would it? Ain't doing anything to the water, is it? I'm swimming around in this. Well, it could give you powers, turn you into infinite rage. So like I was saying, bro, this heist actually is like hella unorthodox. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, Trevor got it done and shit. But this was so unorthodox. Like, first of all, you blew up an entire freighter. <laughs> like, this is like the loudest heist of all time. You had a guy on the roof like, come on, bro. I don't know if they just did it because of Meriwether or what. But then you trying to steal a fucking super weapon. And he was going to try to sell it. Like, that was the goal for this. He was going to do this and try to sell the super web. I actually think he would have made a lot of money, too, from this. I actually think, like, a lot of money was made 
from this damn, from this heist. Well, y'all gonna see the BS that's gonna happen, but like a lot of money could have been made from this heist. Man, you can say whatever you want about Trevor, but shit, he got it done. Yep, let's hope so. Hey, is that Lester? What? Hey, man, what the fuck you doing here? You should be in bed. Yes, I should be. I would be if certain known associates were busy making themselves enemies of the state. You know, the FIB, Merriweather, IAA. You could fuck with them all day long, but... When you try and steal an experimental super weapon and sell it to the Chinese, you and everyone you ever knew is gonna be fucked in the ass, you fucking chumps! Ho hold on, man. A super weapon? The Chinese? What? What you think is in there? I thought he talked to you. All right, man. So what now? Well, maybe I can organize to have it taken back and found amongst the wreckage. Whoa! Holy fuck, Lester Crest! Holding on and looking good, huh? Do you have any idea what you did here? Yeah? I pulled a score. What, are you jealous because you didn't get your 20%? If that thing doesn't go back, then we will all end up on every watch list in the entire planet. Watch list? So fucking watch! So they don't watch, they kill. Idiot, we'll all be dead within a week. Think! All right, listen. Take the truck, take a guy, do what you gotta do. Trevor? I'll load it up. Uh, Trevor? Great. Then you and the patient can take it all back. Right fucking now! So you mean to tell me this shit was all for nothing? Man, it's the hood all over again. Fuck. Come on, Franklin. You owe me, Michael. I am owed! What you gonna do, huh? I think it's something. I gotta get Franklin some work, too. I'll take this. Yeah, yeah. Lots of mouths to feed, amigo. Tell me about it. Fuck! And there we go. <laughs> so that's that mission, bro. Like I said, bro, this is the actual heist, bro. Like... 20 million dollars could have been had that we ended up not getting i didn't get the headshots and my accuracy was pretty bad but everything else i pretty much did man i got the ninja i got the container hunter and i got the no alarm so that was pretty decent i ain't mad at that so now we finna go over to um we gotta go over to i'm guessing right here yeah here we go we gotta go over to this i guess i'm gonna switch over to michael and then we'll do that real quick um I don't know if I'm going to show y'all me switching over to Michael. If Michael say anything, then y'all will see it. But let me switch over to Michael real quick so we can do this next Bureau mission. What a fucking loon. Classic. There we go. So now we just switched over to, um, to Michael. And we about to go over and... Wait, hold up. Tracy, baby. Call. Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help. Like, serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I love you. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. All right, guys, so now that we got that phone call, I'm going to go ahead and cut to when I make it over to this bureau mission. So give me one moment, and I'll see y'all when the mission starts. All right, guys, so we finally made it over here to the bureau, man. I actually went home and went to sleep, bro, so it could be daytime. I just wanted to be daytime during this mission, just so y'all could see better and all the different type of stuff like that. You know what I mean? All right, the fuck is this bullshit? We handled your little immigration problem, whatever the fuck it was. We're straight. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You killed people, you tortured people, committed a litany of other crimes. Oh, we're so straight, you and me. We're arrows. Davey, you can't do anything about this fucking turd? Yeah, Dave. What can you do about me? Here's Trevor. Get your raid, looky looky, huh? Bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? Oh, he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can. Oh, really? 
huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts. Listen, we need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? We think they're gonna use this money to finance a war on our streets, and we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> That's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now, how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block. Tow truck to sack them. We get some disguises, and we're gold. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General! Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. All right, guys, so if y'all don't know what's going on, bro, we basically just got roped into another FIB um, job or whatever, bro, and basically we got to basically pull a heist on this damn car. You know what I mean? This armored car, which is, you know, like the armored trucks that you see driving around and all the different types of stuff. Here we go. All right, guys, a few more details. We'll need boiler suits and masks for this job. The garbage truck. Let's get one from your park. Bring it back to the lot. And there's an auto repair place by the airport where we can get a tow truck. What else? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 get away. That would be nice. Get something fast and discreet. We park it off the road a good distance from the lot. And make sure it ain't near something we'll crash into driving off. That's it. All right, man, I got you, dawg. What? Huh? I missed that. Maybe shout a little louder? Bite me. All right, bro. So we got the setup tasks. We got a few actual tasks, bro. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try my best to just spread everything around. So as far as the trash truck, I do the trash truck as travel. I feel like you know each each person should be able to put in their own weight. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the trash truck as travel. I'm gonna do the um, the other truck as Michael, and I'm gonna do the boiler suits, mask, and um, the getaway vehicle as Franklin. And that's just how we'll do that. Here we go. We got the O'Neill brothers right here. Ah, brother O'Neill. Fuck you, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're the guy stealing contracts. You burnt the farm, killed my brothers. You had too many brothers. They needed culling. You're fucking dead. Aren't we all? We live and we die. That's our curse. Hey, you want to expedite the situation? Come. Fucking find me, Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck. I'll be there, man. I don't know when, but I'll be there. So the damn O'Neill brothers, um, I don't know which one that is. I think it said Elwood, Elwood O'Neill, whatever his name is. The O'Neill brothers finally, you know, they caught wind of Trevor blowing up their, um, they um, they cookhouse and basically killing all his brothers and stuff, and now they kind of want revenge. So that's gonna play a part later on in the story. As I know, that's gonna end up playing a part later on in the story. And when it do, it's gonna play a major part. Like it's gonna be crazy 
how all that's gonna transpire. But here we go, bro. So we gotta run up on this damn truck. I don't remember how you gotta do it. I think you gotta actually kill the truck driver just so you don't get the cops on you, bro. I think that's what you gotta do. At least that's just my my idea of it. I think I might have failed. I think I might have failed that. I don't think I don't know. Maybe you don't kill him. I don't remember. I think you don't kill him, or you just scam with the gun. Oh no, never mind. We actually got the cops on us. So you were supposed to kill him. You was actually supposed to kill him. That's the way you don't get the cops on you. But uh, let me go ahead and take off this damn waypoint. And I'm gonna just cut to when I lose these cops, cause I already feel like this is gonna take a long time, and I really don't want to be bothered with it. So just give me one moment while I lose these cops real quick. All right, gang, so I lost the cops, man, and I pretty much drove my way, you know, somewhat closer to the spot, just so we don't have to wait too much. You know, you don't see too much of me driving. But, yeah, we went on there and lost the cops. And real quick, bro, I wanted to go ahead and say this because I haven't said this during the whole video. I actually ain't thought about it till just now. If y'all watching this, by the time you watching this, it has been, well, by this time, it's over a year since I've been on YouTube. And, man, it's been, man, I don't know, bro. I actually got a video plan. Y'all might end up seeing that video before y'all see this one. Or the video that I got planned, man. So I hope y'all en enjoyed it at the time. And um, yeah, but yeah, it's just crazy, bro. I really do just appreciate all the love and support that y'all showed me over this year. And like I said, bro, we just hope to keep this going, bro. Let's expand it. Undented in the dust. So I actually didn't get the undented. <laughs> I actually didn't get the undented. That's actually crazy. Um, to get undented, that means you just don't don't take a lot of damn don't take a lot of damage. And I just crashed to a bunch of stuff on the way here, so. That's that. But real quick, let me switch over to uh, Michael real quick. And we're going to go ahead and try to get this damn tow truck. Wait, well, hold up. Sanitation truck's there now. So don't you bother. There we go. So, boom. So, now let me switch over. Wow, dude. Wow. The vehicle, like, I swear to God, the NPCs in this game, the drivers in this game are insane. But let me go ahead and switch over to Michael real quick. All right, so guys, we here is Michael, and we finna get ready to steal this tow truck. Now, I do remember this. Now, with this one, you gotta sneak up on this dude and um, basically stealth, not really stealth kill him, but like stealth knock him out. You gotta basically knock this guy out before you get into the tow truck. If not, then the guy are gonna try to stop you, and then you're gonna get the cops on you and stuff. So, this is basically how you do this one. Oh, man. The smoke. Boom. So, you knock him out, and then you should be able to, you should... At least what from what I remember, we should be able to get in this tow truck and take it straight to the FIB lot. There it is. There we go. So now we should be able to take this to straight to the FIB lot, man. No problems, no issues, no none of that. And I'm finna go off the Willy Neal and go up this little ramp as long as this damn truck get out of my way, sir. There we go. Geronimo! What do you do? Like in real life, say if you was on the road and you seen a tow truck do that, like what would you do? I, I mean, what could you do? It's nothing you can do. Just be weirded out and pray that you're not in the tow truck way. That's just how I look at it. Like, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I think you gotta get undented for this one as well. But I don't really remember. We gonna see, though. But, yeah, we gonna go ahead and take this. But we actually really not that far. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and take y'all with me. Just to keep down on the cut editing. Even though I don't mind, you know, cutting and stuff. Just to keep the video time, you know, somewhere down. Even though my videos already be like 45 minutes long, 40, 30, 40, you know, around that time already. I don't know, just unnecessary stuff I just tend to cut out or whatever. But, you know, since this ain't a long ride, I might as well just take y'all with me and all this good stuff. I want to know if we could have just got a random um, tow truck off the road, too. Because I actually seen a few tow trucks on the way to the, to, um, to the tow truck right here. But I just didn't even try to get it. I should have just went on and tried to steal them just to see what was going to happen. But I didn't want to have to deal with the cops and all that. That's basically why I didn't do it, because I knew how to do this one. But there we go, bro. This was quick, easy, and I ain't gonna lie, relatively painless. Relatively painless. So let's go ahead and park this up over here. Get out of the truck. And we should, I'm, I'm thinking we should have 100% on that. I, I don't know for sure, but we should have 100% on that. Let's see. Not a scratch. Oh my God. So the not a scratch. Meaning again, bro, you just don't crash the damn tow truck at all. But we got it, bro. I mean, we got the truck in and we missed another scratch. But all right, so let me switch over the front. Well, Michael gonna call real quick, so let's let that phone call happen. We got ourselves a tow truck. All right, so there we go. So now let me switch over to Franklin. And then I'll cut to Franklin and then we'll worry about getting the boiler suits mask 
and um the getaway vehicle. All right, gang. So we here is Franklin. We finna get ready to buy these boiler suits. Now with these boiler suits, I think you gotta buy all three of the exact same color. I think the same with the mask to get a hundred percent. Listening to you and those two friends of yours bantering back and forth, it was so cool. It was like I was in a movie or a music video or something. Man, what are you talking about? I love the hip hop. PG Jackson, MC Clip. That ain't real hip hop. No, no, of course not. I mean, what would I know? I barely exist outside this store. Man, I'll get y'all cousin, bro. Bro, want to be hip so bad. <laughs> bro, just want to be hip. But let's go ahead and buy these damn suits. Like I said, I think you you can buy any one of these. Any boiler suit you choose, I think you just gotta buy them all for the same person. So we're just gonna do doing like that. And I think that's how you do it. I don't know. If I failed it, then that means you gotta buy one of different color for each person. But let's see. So bitch and pass, boiler suits, united colors. So instead of doing what I did and buying one one suit for each person, you gotta buy a suit for everybody. You gotta buy one for Michael, one for Franklin, one for Trevor. So that's how you do it. And I think with the mask, you gotta buy all of the same masks. I think everybody gotta have the exact same mask. So let me, um, well, here we go. Hey y'all, we got ourselves some boiler suits. So yeah, we got the boiler suits. So let me go over here to the mask spot. And I'm gonna cut real quick to make it to the mask store. And then we are gonna buy the mask. Then we'll end up getting the, um, the um, getaway vehicle. All right, guys. So we made it over to the mask spot. So we are gonna go in and buy these three masks. Like I said, I don't think I don't think it's a certain mask you gotta buy. I'm gonna just go for the white hockey mask. But I think as long as you buy three of these for the same person, you should be able to 100 percent this. Let's see, and that should be we should 100 percent that. But this is actually really bad because there we go, cliche. So yeah, you gotta buy all three of the same mask. But in reality, that's actually really stupid to do that. Because for one, hold on, let me let him do this. I handled the mask, man. Don't worry about him. I'm actually make this the um, the, the street. This um, I'm actually make this the getaway vehicle. But that's actually really stupid because in reality, they finna go and pull a heist on a damn armor truck, right? They're gonna be looking for, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna be looking for three people. And they're gonna be looking for three people and three ball of suits and three masks. Even though it might take the cops a while to like track that shit down, they're gonna eventually go get, you know what I'm saying, track it down, bro. And they eventually gonna, you know, realize who bought the damn the, the mask. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be like, these masks was bought in Franklin name. Franklin gonna end up going into custody. Now it's gonna be up to Franklin whether he sell out, you know, Michael or Trevor. Not saying that Franklin would do that, but at the end of the day. All these niggas swear they tough and all this shit until they, you know, until they slap 20, 40, 50 years on the nigga head. Then the motherfucker be ready to cry and, and give up the whole crew. You know what I mean? So, that's just crazy. Speaking of an armor truck, they got an armor truck right there. I ain't gonna do that right now because we gonna go ahead and um use this vehicle as a getaway. You don't have to have a four-way getaway vehicle neither. The getaway is for Franklin. So, you can use a two-door vehicle or I think you can even use a motorbike, I think. I don't know. Don't, don't quote me on that. But real quick, let me cut again to when I make it to the spot that I'm going to actually stash this vehicle at. And I'll see y'all in a moment. All right, guys. So here we go, bro. Um, I think this is the place that I always put the damn car. It's always one location that I always put the cars over here in Cypress Flats. I think. Yeah, here we go. So we can't use this. So boom. So now all we got to do is just call. I think you just got to call Michael or Trevor. It don't really matter. And just mark getaway location. So here we go. Hey, I got a ride for our getaway, homie. Well done. Where's it stored? Cypress Flats. All right, that's everything. I'll call Steve, tell him we're ready to move on this. All right, guys. So, yeah, um, this actually is a very good area to, um, to put this vehicle to, just so y'all know. And if y'all want to know wh exactly where it is, it's literally right here over here in Cypress Flats. So this is the, uh, the whole map, you know what I'm saying? It ain't the whole entire map because of the fog of war stuff. But it's literally right here, man. Just look at this um this ammunition. And it's literally on this on this alleyway right there. So that's why I parked it there. Just in case, you know what I'm saying? If y'all decide to do that in the future, that's a very good spot to hide. It's very close to where y'all gonna be at. You literally don't have to drive that much, you know what I'm saying? That that far away, man. So before I actually do the um the FIB mission, I gotta go and meet Lester real quick. 
before I do that, but we'll do that in the next video, man. When we get to the next video, we'll do this um this Lester assassination mission as well as um this Blitz play heist for the um, FIB, man. So with that being said, any announcement put y'all dropping this video, I highly appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, be easy. Take care.